is moving to Poland a good idea? Give me a few minutes and I'll convince you why it's worth living here. Many things about Poland will surprise you in a very positive way. Cześć, I'm Veronika from Welcome Home and this is another episode of our Moving to Poland series. We help you to understand Poland, settle here and get through the most important stuff. Why? Because we believe Poland is a great place to live. We're really close with our tenants who are from all over the world and we know what challenges they face and what support they need the most. And at the end of the day, we see how they enjoy living here. Before we go any further, remember to join our community and subscribe to this channel. Done? Okay, let's go. Poland is a great place to explore Europe. Let's start from the beginning. Poland is located in Central Europe, bordering countries like Germany, Czechia and Slovakia. For example, there are direct train connections with Berlin, Prague, Bratislava and Vienna. It's also easy to get to Austria and even Southern Europe. In about 10 hours you can reach Italy or Croatia by car. Do you prefer traveling by plane? We have 15 passenger airports in Poland. The largest is Warsaw Shopping Airport, which handed almost 19 million passengers in 2019. The second largest is Kraków Balice, with 8 million passengers. And the third, Katowice Pyszowice, with 5 million passengers served in 2019. Of course, the biggest Polish cities are conveniently connected by rail. From Katowice to Warsaw is just over 2 hours by train, and to Gdańsk and the seaside is just around 6 hours. Poland is simply beautiful. Geographically, Poland has everything. Mountains, the sea, lakes, rivers, national parks and even a desert. The sea, Morze Bałtyckie, extends along our northern border, giving Poland 843 kilometers of coastline. The most popular seaside city is Gdańsk, along with Gdynia and Sopot. Our tallest mountain range is called Tatry, and the most popular mountain resort is the city of Zakopane. But we also have the Beskidi Mountains. You can get there by train from Katowice in less than two hours. And the Bieszczady Mountains. And Mazuria is a land of lakes. Well, every region of Poland has something absolutely beautiful to discover. You can choose to live in a smaller town or a big metropolis. Check our previous video about Katowice and Kraków to know more about Polish cities. Working in Poland pays off. Poland is a country of business opportunities. Multinational companies are eager to invest here and good jobs are easy to find, especially in large cities. 2021 was a record-breaking year. The inflow of foreign investment to Poland reached almost 25 billion US dollars, giving Poland 20th place worldwide. And where to look for work? The fastest growing industries in Poland are IT, banking and telecommunications. I've already talked about potential salaries in the video about working in Poland, but let me give you a little update. The highest salaries are currently expected for finance directors, an average of 30,000 złoty, about 6,500 US dollars. This is a monthly value, of course. Other high earning professions in Poland are lawyers, web developers, process engineers, and key account managers. Interestingly, salaries in foreign companies operating here are about 35% higher than in Polish companies. Lower prices, especially on services. Comparing the cost of living in Warsaw, the most expensive Polish city, with other European capitals, Warsaw prices are much cheaper. The average cost of renting an apartment is about 40% lower in Warsaw than in Berlin and Paris, and almost three times lower than in London. It's also way easier to find a nice apartment for rent. I already talked about prices in the videos about cost of living or eating out. I provided the average cost of renting an apartment, monthly utilities, daily shopping, lunch at a restaurant or coffee out. But the prices of some services are really shocking. You can have a monthly mobile plan including unlimited calls, messages and internet access 
for as little as Verity Slotus for less than seven US dollars and Cable TV for 50 Slotus, 12 US dollars. The cost of a monthly subscription for unlimited internet at home is similar. The cost of single ticket for public transport in our country is about 4 zloty, less than 1 US dollar. One kilometer cap is about 3 zloty, a ticket to the cinema costs about 30 zlotes. How do all these prices compare to your country? I'm very curious. Let me know in the comments. Poland is really a tech-friendly place. Has it ever happened to you that you couldn't buy something because you were out of cash? Or after landing, you were in panic looking to exchange money into local currency? Relax. In Poland, cashless payments are available absolutely everywhere. Even in a small local market, in a small grocery store, somewhere in the countryside. Or when buying a kebab. Contactless payment is easy with your smartphone or watch with no minimum amount. It's really convenient. Me, I can't remember the last time I left home with my wallet and paid cash. E-commerce in Poland is really great, so you can order almost anything, even basics, household items or food online. And most importantly, you don't have to wait for a delivery, because it's your package that will be waiting for you in a parcel locker in your home, and you have 48 hours to pick it up. One of the most popular delivery systems is InPost, and it's so widespread that you are sure to have a locker in your neighborhood. That's simply great. Another advantage of living in Poland, and especially working remotely, is that the internet is widely available. The coverage is really good in the entire country, even in small villages, and the connections are stable and really fast. So, if you're thinking of working remotely, Poland will be a really good choice. The Polish four seasons are pure magic. The Polish summer can be really hot and beautiful, but the other seasons are no less delightful here. Poland has a moderate climate and we enjoy our four seasons here. It's worth spending at least an entire year here to experience them all and see them with your own eyes. In spring, literally everything bursts with green. Our beautiful forests are stunning. This lush green lasts almost half a year until our golden autumn. And then everything turns gold, orange and red. The views are unbelievable. Spring and autumn are perfect for mountain trips, exploring forests and in general discovering Poland. Summer is the perfect time to go to the sea or the Mazurian lakes. An interesting fact, our tenant from Lebanon told me he enjoys the Polish summer sunsets, which are, as he says, the most beautiful in the world. Winter will surely delight snow enthusiasts, skiing or snowboarding. I have to admit, winters in Poland are not as snowy as they were a few decades ago. But snow falls here every year, most often in January and February. And ski resorts, of course, provide proper conditions all season long. The truth about Polish winters. Speaking of weather, is the Polish winter really so harsh? Many people from warmer countries are really afraid of a Polish winter as they associate it with freezing temperatures. And I'll tell you, winter in Poland is not bad at all. Why? Firstly, as I said, it's not as cold as it used to be decades ago. Christmas time is usually rather rainy rather than snowy, unfortunately. Secondly, our homes are winter ready. Our buildings are properly insulated and each apartment has central heating. Even our tenants from Canada were surprised with the coziness of our apartments during winter. If you experienced winter in Southern Europe in an apartment with no central heating, you will be positively pleased. In Poland, winter at home is warm and cozy. Mmm, Polish food. Poland is a country of good food, definitely. We eat locally, seasonally and not as heavy as you may think. Everyday Polish cooking is not just a fried pork chop or bigos. Much more often we have crepes or our famous pierogi. Our typical lunch menu has two courses and the first one is a homemade soup. Polish food is low processed and it's easy to get locally grown products. We still cook at home a lot 
and we cherish traditional dishes, so it's easy to find a simple Polish restaurant. And there is one more great thing. Bread. A classic traditional loaf of sourdough can be found in many bakeries. Forget about spongy loaf packed in plastic bags. Poland is a country of excellent bread. Are the Polish stereotypes true? Well, there are a lot of stereotypes about Poles, mainly that we are conservative, intolerant of other cultures and keep our distance from others. The funniest part is that we both believe that more than others. Our foreign friends and tenants say Polish people are helpful, hospitable and friendly. We really hear that often. If needed, we can unite and act together. And the best example is this year's situation in Ukraine and how we helped and hosted Ukrainians here in Poland. We are really welcoming and we love to spend time with friends and family. We celebrate anytime we can, anniversaries, birthdays and other special occasions. There is no place like Poland to celebrate Christmas. At first glance, we may seem aloof and reserved, but once you get to know someone better, all distance disappears and you have a great friend in us. So, did I convince you to move to Poland? I'm really curious to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching and for being with us. Make sure to check our other episodes. We talk about many Poland-related issues in them and we hope we will be able to help you in the complex relocation process. Welcome to Poland, welcome home!